All right, guys, welcome back to another video. I'm just getting up, getting ready to go out to do some bass fishing. Um, I did ready to get all my stuff loaded last night, so I just got to get up, get my stuff, myself ready here to go. Um, but today I'm going to be fishing a lake. Get dry, it's going to be about 45 minutes to an hour. But like I said, I'm going to be fishing a lake for some largemouth bass. Easiest way I know how to catch these bass is a, a Senko. So today's video, I'm going to be using Senko straight, strictly a Senko. Uh, Young, Gary Yamamoto's, uh, you got the Daiwas, you got Guggen Bates, any kind of, uh, any kind of Yum Dinger, Sinkles, whatever you want to call them, Wacky Worm. Uh, I'm going to be using a Wacky Worm style, Nico Rig style, uh, but anyways, I find that the easiest lure to catch bass on. Um, if not that, then definitely a drop shot, but that's not going to be the video. Today's video is going to be all about how to use the Wacky Worm and showing that if you are struggling, you guys just want to go out, have fun, try to catch bass right away. Drop shot, sorry, um, wacky rig, Senko is the way to go. But anyways, I'm going to get myself ready here and I'm going to start heading out on the water and I will see you guys when I get onto the water. Guys, it wasn't recording, but I got a little guy. Tiny, tiny largemouth on a Senko. Easiest way to catch a bass. Wacky rig, Senko. Cast it right by the dock here, not the back end. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna cast that. The, that was front of the dock. I'm gonna cast at the back of the dock now. Let's see if there's another one there. Guys, I was not recording, but I got one. Came up on the surface and ate it. That was awesome right up in here again like I said easiest way to catch a bass is with the Senko just got them barely hooked hook popped out not a big one by no means probably a pound and a half maybe but the way I'm gonna have my Senko hooked up is I have it so the hooks is barely poking like that so I can fish the weeds and I know that I won't get snagged at all But I hope you guys did enjoy last video. Um, I'm going to keep posting. Like I said, I am. And I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Because uh, I realize that I love fishing. And I love sharing my content with you guys. Oh, I just lost them. God darn it. So the way I have it rigged is I just have it barely poked so when they come in and eat it, all I gotta do is lift and my hook will poke right into them. And at least when it's like this, I can still fish the weeds because I just made my worm weedless. So my sink will weedless. And then usually you can tell when they hit because either your line will start moving off to the side like what I've been noticing here, or actually you'll uh, you'll see or feel them hit. Sometimes this, this weedless tactic works and sometimes it doesn't. I know a lot of guys will just hook right through it. I do that a lot if I'm uh, throwing on their docks and stuff, but I haven't really thrown Senkos a lot this year, so or in general Not anymore, but I want to try to get back into it a little bit here and I got a um I'm using a medium light, Zodius medium light, with a, a yum Senko. Morning. Morning, how you doing? All right. How do you fish among those weeds? Uh, I actually made it weedless here. Ah, so, yeah, yeah, so if you look at it, hook can't 
Oh, pierce any of the weeds, so. That's smart. Yeah. Rock and roll. Thanks. Hey, you have a great day. You too. And when I'm fishing the weeds, I'm not letting my sink go sink too far down. I'm letting it sink just right above the weeds. Oh, come on. Guys, I just missed one. I saw him come and eat, and I was trying to turn on the camera. He's got it. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, darn it, dude. Shoot. Oh, there's another one trying to rip it out of its mouth. Freaking eh? So what I'm doing is I'm pitching in these pockets here. And I'm just fishing the pockets and watching these fish come in and eat it. I think those two are a little bit smarter now. Now they've, that they've gotten their mouth hooked. Got them. That was awesome. I watched him come in and eat it. Oh, he spit it again. Just let him eat it just a little bit longer. Are you kidding me? My drag's gotta be too loose. Tighten it up a little bit, cause now I'm just losing fish left and right. The minute I loosened up my drag, I started losing fish. Darn it, dude. Come back, pitch these pockets when uh when we come back. Nice pocket out there. Some nice bluegills in this lake, but looks like they're dying. I don't know if it's from the water itself or if it's from people just choking letting them choke the hook and they can't get it out and as you can see i'm staying a little way, bit ways from the water just because the fit bass are pretty close to shore So I don't want to run up right on the shore and spook them. I know I wish I had my floating worm. I'd throw my floating worm along all this weed here, but it's okay. Oh yeah, here it comes, got him. That was awesome. Just like that, guys. The action from that ankle is super deadly. Get up in here. It's not bad, there's a two pounder, almost a two pounder. Probably like one, one, mm, yeah, probably like a one five, one six. Not a two pounder, but take a quick snap of this guy here and I'll let him go. Thank you, buddy.
Let him go right back where he belongs, right back where I caught him. Nice deep hole here. Thanks, buddy. Guys, instant. As soon as I just threw on another Senko, flipped it right out there, and he came in and choked it. Not a big one. Like, I'm not catching giants by no means. This lake, this lake does have giants, but not catching any giants by no means. But honestly, catching them like that, almost every cast, when you see them, no hesitation, it's pretty fun. And what I was doing is I was just watching the weed line here. And I'm just, like I said, pitching in these holes. Guys, I'm hooked up with one. I see like three more with him. Oh my goodness, there's four or five of them. more down there. There's a little guy right there. You gotta go. Guys, I got another one. Not a big one this time, but got one. This guy's probably a pounder. Then right on that Sanko against the weed line there. Not a bad one. Cat's back in there and see if we can get us another fish come in and bite. Again, I'm not even, I'm barely doing anything. I'm just letting the wind blow my line. And when the wind blow my line, it's twitching my worm for me, so. There's a bunch of weeds there, so I'm... When I do twitch it, I'm just trying to twitch it out off the weeds, let it sink down so the fish can come in and see it and eat it. back through I'm probably gonna switch up here go something a little bit different oh my gosh Wrong one. Dang it, dude. Guys, this one that I just saw is probably like a four pounder. cool because I'm watching these fish come up and eat. Choked it. Pop this hook out here. Let's see if we can't get us another fish. Not a bad one there. Thanks buddy.
make it weedless again. See if I can't spot this bass. Golly, that was a nice bass. Sorry guys, I did not mean to turn my camera off. But I got a little guy now. Ate it pretty good. Get the hook out here. Ouch. Hook went right into my finger. Thanks, buddy. Oh yeah, he's got it. Oh, I lost him. That's pretty quick though. I saw him there swimming around. Just pitched it in there and he came up and dwinked it. Got him. Got him. Whoa, what the heck is the crappie that had it? Yeah, they got another one. Little guy. Not a biggie, but it is a fish. Get this mess out here. So my sink was off of this, so that's why I did that. If I had my sink on there, I probably wouldn't have done that. So I'm off. All right, guys. I did not do my outro on the water. Um, yeah, I went out there, caught a bunch of fish, realized that there's actually a tournament going on, so I didn't really fish in the morning there for a little while. Um, yeah, it was kind of... I, I was a little upset when I got there. I would have done the tournament if I knew about the tournament, but hey, what can you do? Uh, but anyways, I did fish out there, get a fish, um, watch the guys fish in the tournament. It was pretty cool, watch them do what they wanted to do. But yeah, I was using the wacky rig with my Shimano rod and just went and pitched up at some weeds and some roaming bass, some swatting bass. But I did catch a few, and I hope you guys did enjoy today's video, and I hope you guys did like the last video also, and uh, I do appreciate every one of you guys that stick and watch my content, and don't forget to leave a, a like, leave a comment, hit that share button, it really helps me out, I really appreciate it, but I really hope you guys do enjoy today's video, and leave a thumbs up, and I will catch you guys in the next one.